Hi, this is Sandy the Kentucky Crafter and I wanted to jump on here and do a quick Cricut Design Space tutorial. I wanted to talk to you all about the contour button down here in this bottom right hand corner. I'm going to click on it right here. So let's talk about that. So I've and Valentine's Day will be coming up here in about a month so I thought we could play around with some Valentine's files. So what would you want to use the contour button for? So say this particular cut file, I imported it from Cricut Access, and it's a single cut file, but say I want to cut it out of either cardstock or vinyl or iron-on, and I want the hearts to be different colors. That's where contour can help you. So the first thing you'll want to do is duplicate the image, and you'll want to set it up to the size that you are wanting to cut at. So this one is at four, almost four and a half wide and three inches tall. And then you duplicate it, hit the duplicate button. And then on your second image, you want to hide the items that you are gonna keep red. So I'm gonna keep this big heart red and then I'm actually going to make these three small ones a different color than, than um, what I'm going to make these two. So I'm going to hide all of those and just leave these two uh, medium-sized hearts. So you, the way you do it is you click on it and it will then show up as a dark gray. So then you know it is hidden. Okay, so it's contoured out. And these two lighter colored ones, lighter gray, those will still show. So when I click off of that, there you see just these two hearts are displayed. So I'm gonna change these to this pink color. All right, so then I'm gonna duplicate this one more time. And this time I'm gonna get, I'm gonna hit the contour button again. And I'm gonna get rid of the big heart again. And you can see that it's dark grayed out, but I'm gonna get rid of these two medium sized ones and then just leave these three small hearts. And then I'm gonna change the color of these and you change that up here in the uh, color box next to the line type field. And I'm gonna do this lighter pink color. And then you go back to your first image and you wanna contour out all the ones that you have different colors and just leave this big one and it's going to stay red and you can change the color of this one as well if you want to but i want it to be red and so now when you go to cut this um, it's going to cut these hearts out in the color that you have here now granted you can you know pick whatever color you want when you actually go to cut the file um, this is just kind of for your design purposes so you can see what it would look like. Let me hit the Make It button and I'll show you how these will print out or cut out on the map. So the red heart will print out on this map. The two pink ones will print out perfectly spaced so you'll be able to align them with the red one and then the other lighter shade of pink will print them out this way. So you can easily um, layer them up um, on whatever project you're creating. So that is just a quick little update on how you can utilize the contour button. The next example that I wanna show you with the contour button is this cute little heart here. This image of a heart it says you are strong. This is a cut image. So everything you see, the heart will cut out and each of these individual letters will cut out. So let's say you don't want that and that's where it comes in handy to where you can use the contour button and you can change it to a print then cut. So let me show you that. Say um, you know, you, you're making a, a Valentine's project um, whether it's a card or you're wanting to create an iron-on on your shirt, you can take this heart here and you can customize the wording. Say you don't like the you are strong. So you select the um, image 
can go down to the contour button and you can just highlight and click on the things like I said that you want to uh, contour out sometimes when you have these files like this where it's really hard to click on it the easiest thing to do a nice little trick is to go and click on hide all contours so it hides everything but one item and we still want the outside of the heart to show so we're okay with that one being light up lighter gray but then we also want this one and we also want that one and then you can click off of there and all the letters are hidden so that's a great little tip is to use this hide all contours to get rid of the ones that it's hard to select them just because of the way the file is made and then once you have um, hidden those words then you can create your own words in the text file over here so say I want to do you know I and I have the I right here and then I want to say heart you so then I want to do a you and then for a heart you can just utilize the shapes click on the heart shape and then size it down to match your letters and say I want to make the heart red you can make the heart red and then you have your I heart you and you can make these capital or you can make them small and the font that I'm using is called click clack this is the font that I'm using and it's actually from makersgonnalearn.com and I'll put that link below so you can um, check out there they have hundreds of fonts that you can utilize once you become a member with them and then you can put these together um, you can group them if you want to um, you can leave them independent you can get them the, the spacing that you want I'm not going to fuss too much with that just for uh, demo purposes to have all of this print out together you have a couple more steps you need to do as a print and cut if you if you just um, grouped the letters and the heart together and hit group up here they would still individually cut out um, all these cut lines around the hearts and then um, around each one of these letters and so what we need to do is to give this a background see right now it's it's transparent so and let me change the the canvas color to make it a little bit easier for you to see and the way you change the canvas color is click on this blank canvas down here and then come up to color and then I'm, I'm just going to make it gray so you can see it so what you want to do let's move the the I heart you out of the way for a minute and Again, you want to duplicate your heart image and then go to the contour button. And for the contour button, we want to hide everything again. And first off, we're going to start with just the small heart in the middle. So we have this small heart and we're going to change it um, over here on the no fill to print. And then we're going to change it to white. I want the background to be white and then we're going to duplicate this heart one more time and then this time we just want this little sliver right here so again we hide all contour collect uh, select the sliver and get rid of the, the big heart click OK and then you want to make this again a print and then make it white and then what you do is you align this back up with your first cut file and just line it up as best you can if you want to zoom in you can zoom in and then just align those up right there and once you've got that aligned where you think it looks pretty good you can bring your letters back in so it shows on top of your um, other images but you can select all of these by just holding your mouse down 
and clicking over them and you see all of these have turned to dark gray over here and so that way you know you have it all selected all right so now we want to make this a print and cut and the way to do that is to hit the flatten button because right now if you grouped all of this it would just still cut out everything independently if you hit the flatten button and then it makes it all one file we'll just cut the outside heart shape and all of this will just print out on your printer so those are just a couple um, files I wanted to show you um, how the contour button can be your friend in helping you modify an image that you found and you like it but you want to personalize it a little bit so please um, like the um, hit the like button if you like this uh, video and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to my channel